Hey, what's up? It's Taka here. Uh, I'd like to share my. I'd like to report, report my uh, what what I've done this week. Uh, I've I've got a lot of work done this week, and uh, I've been preparing to the mobile. Pre I've been preparing to publish the mobile version uh, for beta testing on Android and uh, iOS. Uh, this flight is ready, uh, but Google Play Store is uh, still waiting for a review. Uh, <laughs> it's so slow to review it, as you can see, it's still in review. I posted, uh, I, I've submitted it uh, yesterday. I've submitted it yesterday, and it's still uh, in review. Uh, so uh, hopefully I'll be announcing it uh, next week. But uh, uh, I've been well, I've been testing it on production, and oops, and uh, here is the uh, Android. Yeah, so it it works fine uh, on Android as well. Here's the note. So it works very smoothly. Like so. And <coughs> uh, here are, uh, uh, there are a lot of issues to solve, issues to fix. Uh, so here are uh, some known issues and I've been trying to fix them. Yeah. So that's the current status. And next is... Uh, ah, yeah, I, I don't, ah, so I, I forgot to mention that uh, how much improved, the, how much the launch speed has been improved. Uh, so uh, let, uh, let me show you uh, the launch speed, <coughs> and here is the uh, old version. So it takes so long to launch. Uh, it takes maybe one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. So it's so uh, it takes so long, and uh, the new version is a lot faster. Uh, so to maybe two times uh, to mm. maybe two seconds or three seconds to launch uh, i have a uh, uh, 1700 nodes uh, so it works pretty well even when you have if even if you have a lot of nodes yeah so can't wait to try can wait to mm, you try it Mm. Okay, the next up is desktop version. Uh, I've got a report from Phil. Uh, so here is the user forum. Uh, so I've got a report from Phil. He has an issue that uh, the app crashes randomly on macOS Ventura. Uh, but it, w it only happens uh, occasionally, so I can't reproduce it at the moment. And uh, so I've been, I've been uh, investigating the cause of the issue. Uh, here is the, the crash log, uh, but it's not so helpful to find what is causing the issue. Uh, <coughs> it's as you can see, uh, the crash comes from the the electron itself, so you can't know what is the. And, and it, mm, it, it not comes. It's not comes from uh, the application layer, uh, so it's hard to know uh, what's going wrong. And it lo looks like it's uh, memory related, and <laughs> that's why it happens occasionally. Uh, yeah. So I can't. I can't fix it uh, at the moment. <laughs> 
but maybe it's time to upgrade the electron version because it's still on uh, 16, version 16, which is uh, kind of out of date. So I decided to upgrade electron from 16 to 21. And there are uh, some breaking changes, so I managed, I managed to fix them. Uh, like uh, internal modes not working. Uh, with snapshots, I've got to build snapshots to work uh, with Electron 21. There are some uh, issues, but I fix them. Yeah, it's working fine on my in my environment uh, on macOS. So I'll be testing it out. I'll be testing it on Linux and Windows as well. And uh, I've been w also working on uh, dropping redundant libraries like uh, Raw Dash. Raw Dash is a, a big library, like uh, uh, <laughs> a bunch. It it provides a a bunch of uh, useful uh, useful uh, methods, functions, and uh, the, the, the in the early days, uh, I've been focusing on um, shipping the app as quick as possible and I didn't care about uh, dependencies so that so that, that co uh, causes that uh, it has a lot of so it results in having a redundant libraries a lot of redundant libraries like Rodash uh, it, but it can be but some of them can be dropped safely dropped so like uh, it's used by import HTML function and so I managed to drop it. Also there is underscore. Underscore is a similar library uh, as Rodash and uh, it's used by a lot of internal libraries. So looks like it's kind of hard to drop, uh, but I I try it. Also, it has jQuery. It is required by Semantic UI. It's a UI framework, old old UI framework, uh, and I'd like to drop it as well. And here is the uh, Passwatcher. Passwatcher is uh, one of the uh, modules from Atom Editor. Atom Editor is uh, Atomate has been recently uh, sunset, as you may know, so it's no longer uh, maintained. So I need to find an alternative. Uh, Node watch looks promising, and also a font awesome can be dropped safely. And lastly, uh, see some uh, that the uh, ink shop uses uh, season for uh, config files like uh, compute.season and uh, keymap.season and it's not compatible with uh, JSON. Uh, JSON is a JavaScript object notation format uh, as you may know and CSON is a uh, coffee script version <laughs> so so the reason why I reason why you could use this is that uh, it's uh, it's a fork of Atom Editor and Atom Editor is uh, written in coffee script. So it heavily depends on, rely on coffee script. But I wanted to uh, drop it. I want to drop the dependency on coffee script. And uh, so, so, so I need to find a way to safely convert CSOM to other format like YAML, Y-A-M-L, and uh, there is only one incompatibility uh, between YAML and CSON, that is uh, the array, array notation uh, here. So CSON has a, a different notation for array values, and looks like it can be converted by using re regular expression and uh, yeah, I'll be try it in the future.
Okay, that's it. And next up is uh, about server. Uh, I fixed a security security issue. Uh, the server is running on Heroku, and Heroku notified me to uh, update the the server to fix the open SSL related security issues. So yeah, it's been fixed. <coughs> okay. So and uh, yeah, I'd like to int introduce. Uh, so I'd like to I'd like to give you a, a tip of the week of uh, about Inkjob. And uh, here is a paste URL uh, plugin by John Kerry. Yes, <coughs> paste URL. It, it helps you to paste uh, links uh, in Markdown format. Uh, I'll give you a demo. So, for example, um, So I copy. No. no, 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 no. Yeah. So here is the website. I'd like to copy this URL and uh, paste it to here. But as you can see, uh, it's just a URL, so it doesn't have a link title. And the paste URL helps you to paste helps you paste the URL with uh, a label, page title, by pressing uh, command alt v here. So you have, uh, you got uh, a page title link, which is cool. So that's it. So yeah, paste URL is very useful. And next, uh, I've been, I've been uh, uh, hacking a Readwise Chrome extension to work on Amazon CEO. Uh, so, so what is Readwise? Readwise is a, a, a reading highlights manager. Uh, uh, it's uh, uh, for for managing your reading highlights. Uh, like uh, Kindle, uh, website, web articles, and and so on. And, but unfortunately, it doesn't support uh, Amazon.co.jp. Uh, but but so it to import uh, my highlights of uh, Kindle, uh, I had to I had to hack the Chrome extension. <laughs> so here is the work log. But it, it just uh, replaces the, the domain names from uh, Amazon Amazon.com to Amazon.co.jp. So it's very simple and you can do it uh, uh, like me. It works just fine. So I don't know why they don't sub officially support uh, Japan Japan, Amazon Japan, uh, but uh, at the moment, for, for now, I'm using my hacked version. And uh, yeah, <laughs> if you if you're living in Japan, uh, you Amazon JP user, uh, you can try it. But but I, I can't uh, publish it um, in public because it, it by uh, the li their license. So it's do it uh, at your own risk. So that's it. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So that th I'll be working on. Um, I'll be continue. I I'll continue working on uh, the mobile version, and and I'll be announcing the the private uh, no 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 uh, beta testing. Uh, I'll be announcing the beta testing. Uh, hopefully next week. Yeah, that's it. Uh, see you guys. Uh, have a have a productive day.